Hey y'all, Ron here. It's gonna be kind of a random haul thing. This I got some stuff, received some stuff from HSN. Um, picked up some things at the store. And uh, we're just gonna check it all out. So how's everyone doing? I think my allergies, I usually get laryngitis about once a year. And I think it may be coming because I noticed my voice a little trying to be sexy. My Marilyn Monroe voice. So hopefully that's not the case, but we shall see. I uh, made a quick trip to Oklahoma, and, um, and I found my box blade, and um, went down on a Tuesday, got there early afternoon, and just busy, 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 and um, did get a little bit of sleep Tuesday night. Wednesday, got up early, ran all day long, just crazy, crazy. Then we had storms. We had tons of tornadoes uh, in Oklahoma. They were, some of them were about... I don't know, 10, 15 miles from my hometown, which was kind of scary. And um, so I couldn't leave uh, until after all that passed. So I left about midnight on Wednesday night, got back to Branson about four o'clock in the morning and um, slept for about an hour, got up and did my daughter's hair, which I do that every morning. And I'm so grateful that she lets me do that. Got her all ready. Um, I mean, she was really ready and packed and everything. And she had to be at school by 630 to go to the FFA state convention. So that was really exciting. And uh, then she's not going to be home until 1 o'clock in the morning. She's gone Thursday, Friday, and then she'll be home Friday night, Saturday morning, whatever you want to call it, like 1 o'clock in the morning. So uh, anyway, I'm sure I'm going to have lots and lots of stories about that. I'm, I'm sure, I know she's having a great time. So anyway, that may be a little bit of the voice. Oh, I want you to know I crashed and I, slept, I went to bed about 6.30 Thursday night and got up about 9 or 10 Got something to drink and went back to bed. So I needed that rest. So what do we have here? Diamond Press. This is construction tool, construction slash tool, stamp and die set. This is an auto show. So this looks pretty cute. Construction seems really big right now. A lot of people have been asking at the store. And I think there's some cartoons that are out that have to do with digging and backhoes and, you know, all kinds of construction stuff. So look at this. Look at the tools. Sorry, I screwed up. Oh, that's cute. Thank you for the helping hand. You nailed it. Uh, you're handy to have around. Happy birthday. I love building memories with you. Happy Father's Day. Thank you a ton. Oh, this is going to be, whether you use the apron part or not, all this other is going to be fantastic. So here we have the apron, stamp and die, saws, hard hat. Oh, look at that. And then stamps and dies for all the tools. All the sentiments. Oh, look, we've got the, like the wood grain. Oh, and then a little inspiration. That is super cute. The wheels are turning on that one. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited for that. Excited. All right, what do we have here? I think this is that big. I think this is... This was an auto ship, but I got... Somehow, my auto ship got canceled. Yeah, I think so. My auto ship got canceled, but they brought this back, or they brought it, you know, just a single item. And as I, I was able to snatch it, sorry for the noise. Let's see. This is the Diamond Press Tag and Pocket Stamp and Die and Stencil. Tag and Pocket. So stamps made with love, to from, just for you, enjoy your birthday or B-Day. Smiles inside, something for you uh, to brighten your day. Thanks. Yes, I made this. <laughs> That's cute. A little inspiration. So we have the pockets and tags. And then, so here's the one, two, three, four different pockets, four different tags. And then instructions. It has little border pieces, which you can um, switch in and out with all these sets. And the stencils. So these are the uh, big size. So you can actually do slimline, uh, five by seven, and then A2 size. So very cool. Loving those. So another great set. And then it also comes with um, the storage envelopes and the tags there. So we will jump into this. All right. Well, speaking of diamond press, I wasn't going to say anything, but my heart is heavy. So I'm going to share it with you. Diamond press had a... Um, design team call 
and I thought about it and thought about it, and I thought, well, why not? I mean, I promote them anyway. <laughs> I mean, all the time. I, it's a great company, great product. Um, I mean, just I couldn't say enough about them all the way around. And um, anyway, because of Diamond Press, well, I guess that's what I would say. Because of Diamond Press, because of me using Diamond Press, that has really grown my channel. I mean, I have on all my views, Diamond Press most always gets the most views, and I'm really thankful for that. So I went ahead and threw my hat in because, you know, I've worked with them before. And um, so I thought, well, why not? And so, of course, they, you know, they want your Instagram and your YouTube and, you know, send them all that stuff. And so I did. And um, anyway, I didn't get picked. So um, they have three or four, I guess, new fabulous uh, designers. And I looked at their stuff and they look like they're really talented. Um, as far as I know, none of them have YouTube channels. Um, I know they all, I think they all have Instagram and some of them have Facebook. Um, but anyway, I was just a little surprised. Um, like I said, they all seem very talented in their own way. Um, one of them, when I looked at it, because uh, I'm always trying to be inspired, and I always, you know, check out other people. And and um, anyway, one of them uh, does a lot of mini books and stuff, but I didn't see any cards that she made, so I was a little surprised there. Um, another one, uh, she did beautiful work, very clean, neat work, but um, to me wasn't really creative. I don't, you know, I mean, like I said, very neat, nice, clean. I mean, uh, I don't know, but um, just not out of the box. So um, anyway, like I said, I, you know, I'll follow them like I do the other ones, always want to be inspired. Um, I was just really surprised. Not that I didn't get picked. I'm just, my heart is hurt. Yeah, because I didn't get picked, but I was just kind of surprised at their choices, but they know what they're doing. You know, their company is great. Um, I know the owner, you know, picked those girls for a great reason. And um, I'm excited to see what they do with their products. So um, anyway, I just had to share a little bit because I was just, it was heavy on my heart. And you guys understand. And um, anyway, so I just wanted to say that. So I didn't tell anybody I was doing it because, you know, I don't want anybody to be disappointed. And I just didn't want to jinx it or whatever. But anyway, case are all, I just wasn't their flavor, I guess, and, uh, just wasn't up to what they wanted. So anyway, um, of course nothing will change here. I love diamond press and, you know, I'll still make lots of diamond press stuff. There's, you know, there's nothing like, um, you know, I'm not going to get mad and stomp my foot and say, I'm not doing diamond press anymore. No, not at all. Um, but anyway, just, you know, I'm just kind of sad for a minute or two. <laughs> so anyway, say la vie. So this next one is, of course, you can tell it is uh, Anna Griffin. This is Wiper Card. So I'm anxious to try this. Let's uh, open up. Open says me. Anyway, I thought this was intriguing. Everybody likes interactive cards. So, of course, these are heavily embellished. So it's kind of hard to see what they do. Uh, we'll just have to break into this. When you see these are even hard to kind of understand but anyway when you open it 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 moves <laughs> there's part of it that I, I can't even describe it so we'll just have to put it together and see um but here are some inspirations and like i said it's so heavily embellished you can't tell um you can kind of see a little bit there on that um it kind of folds over anyway i'm not even gonna try <laughs> i just thought it'd be something fun so we're we'll give that a whirl and see what we can come up with all right so let me move along I did get, as most of you know, Heartfelt Creations will be no more. They have decided to retire, to um, quit and not pass the baton. Uh, Emma Lou and her husband are not going to continue it. They decided to do something else. And, um, you know, the one thing about change is what change is constant. Nothing ever stays the same. So um, I hope that they, uh, oh, I know, you know, they've thought about this long and hard. It's just no one likes change. I need to try to do something with that light. I don't know. That didn't help. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Me and this lighting go round and round. Okay. So um, anyway, I picked up some heartfelt here, but um, we'll get to that. Uh, so this is a new die from, I mean, new embossing folder from Sizzix. This is called uh, Forest Scene which these pictures are horrible. Most companies are like this. You cannot tell what it is, um, but it actually makes a really cool uh, pattern. This one, you would never know. Um, of course, I mean, you could tell it's, 
it's music notes, but um, Debbie that I work with made a fantastic sample with this. So we're going to, we're going to do something with this. That's just really new. That's a brand new one. And then, um, this, um, Eileen Hall, you know, I make my own albums from scratch and I do all this stuff, but I, I got on this kick and I bought some of her Biggs dies. I'll show you those in a second. And, um, so I was looking and I had my list and had Shirley order it, but this is a, um, spine die. Okay. And you can, it'll do five spines. And, um, I thought this was really cool, but the only thing it's only, you know, so tall, I think it's five and a quarter. Is it five and a quarter? Let's measure it. Um, which it fits her stuff. I think most of her stuff. Um, no, it's four, four and three fourths. Okay. By, by five and a quarter. So of course you're going to fold this up. So, um, but anyway, like I said, you'll have enough for five spines or five signatures. So, sorry, five signatures. So, um, I just thought I'd give this a try. I just wished it was long and that way you could cut it to whatever size you wanted. But anyway, we're going to give it a try. Um, Hero Arts. This is something new. The five sheets rub on designs for crafting. So junk journal stuff. So here are the different sheets that you get in there. Includes five different six by eight sheets with an applicator stick which is a popsicle stick <laughs> and new Tim Holtz just hot off the press. This is the inspector and I like Tim Holtz. I'm not a huge fan of everything he does, but there are some things that I do like. So I really liked this junk journals, of course. So red rubber, uh, another junk journal thing I liked are creative blocks. So I thought this was really cool. And these are all um, individual. They, yeah, they pop out. And then, um, so here's some heartfelt that I picked up. This um, fragrant hyacinth. The reason I got this is when my daughter was little, well, when she was born. I mean, she was just days old, and I brought her home. And um, she was a little jaundice, and so mom took her out, and they were sitting on the front porch. And mom um, had a bunch of hyacinths that were blooming, and she picked one, and she was uh, tickling AJ Gracie's nose with it and uh, letting her smell it because, you know, they're very fragrant. And um, so that's the first thing that she ever smelled you know other than hospital <laughs> or me uh but was the hyacinth so anyway i had to get that because i have some really cute pictures of her outside with mom so i had to pick that up and i have the dye here somewhere and then this was one of their um latest releases uh fairly new and there's the dye that goes with that this was uh floral feathers and of course i've i don't collect everything that heartfelt has there's just a few that i really really liked and you know like the peacock and the uh, mandelas and some of those, but, um, but not all the florally stuff. And I don't do all that 3d. Uh, I think it's beautiful, but I just, I don't do that. So anyway, here's floral feathers and here's what's in there. And then there's petite feathery florals. That's what's in there. And of course, these red rubber just stamp beautifully feathery florals. And there's two big sprays there. And then the dyes that match. Okay. And then uh, we're going to have to make a card um, with this stuff because we've been doing make and takes with this for the different retreats. And these cards are phenomenal. So we're going to do that like really, really soon. But I had to get this because, you know, junk journaling um, cards, uh, tags for the junk journals. Just love, love, love. And this is the uh, collage paper, like tissue paper. So we'll be doing a card with that um, really soon. All right. And then I'll make things fall. Here are the... Um, um, Eileen Hall's um, Hall, her Biggs dies. And I think this is called Scoreboards XL. I think that's the name of the, that's what they're calling them. So this one is just called Journal. And then the different pieces. I just thought it'd be fun. I don't, I don't even know why I'm doing this because I make mine from scratch, but I just thought it'd be fun. This one um, I actually put together today just real roughly <laughs> uh, just to kind of see what it was. So there's this one. This one is called Skinny Mini Book Box. And then this one is a Pocket Notebook. So, um, like I said, I cut one of these out and I think it's in one of my bags here. Ah, things are falling. Hang on. So here is... Hang with me here. Here's the little Skinny Mini book box so it's just out of um, a light chipboard 
and so of course it's not decorated or anything. Um, you can make this spine wider. I actually cut, um, it makes three sections. You can kind of see a little score mark there. Uh, there's actually three segments and I cut the end off of both of them and then laid them one inside the other. But um, anyway, you can make a little book to go in there. You can put embellishments. Um, it has a little, got a little whopper jawed in my sack there. Excuse me, there's a little uh, plate that can go on the front. Um, tie it up. Like I said, fill it full of goodies and send it to someone or to swap. I just thought that would be fun. And then, what's in this? I think that's just my paper. Oh, and then with the feathery, what's it called? Feathery florals. The um, book, the um, paper pad that goes with that. Really pretty. And, hang on a second. Let me get this out of the way. I think there's anything else in this sack. Except for my paper. Like I said, this was just random hauls that I got. Let's just see what we have. All right. So, you guys know I love Stamping Bella. And I love the oddballs. All my oddballs should be here like any day. The new release. Oh my gosh, I'm like going crazy. Ready for them. Um, I need to look up. I think they sent me a note. I know they've been shipped about three days ago, so they should be here any day. But anyway, uh, these are the gnomes, the gnome collection. So here's Gnome the Artist. And the um, sentiments that go with these are fantastic. That's coming. We don't carry these at the store, um, but they're coming. I ordered them uh, directly from Stamping Bella. Here's the Cowboy Gnome. And the Carpenter Gnome. And the Chef Gnome. And the Farmer Gnome. Like I said, they're really cute, but then when you have the sentiments with them, oh my gosh. So, of course, 49 in Market. I picked up different bits and pieces here and there. This is, um, this is Toast. This is Collage Sheets with this one. And then I picked up some more of um, the Everywhere Collection. This is a 6x9, um, or 6x8, sorry, uh, paper collection. And I have all of it, of course. Katie, the designer, outdoes herself, let me tell you. Um, this is Eucalyptus. So this is more collage paper, which I'm thinking junk journals. And then, love, love, love these. Pink Fresh. Um, I just call them jewels. This one is Emerald City. And I had to get these. Look at the gold in them. Because Stamp, I mean, um, Stamping Bella has the collection that's coming. is the Wizard of Oz. So, Emerald City. Oh, it's so exciting. This is sky blue. Look at that. Just gorgeous. And these are sapphire. Gorgeous. And I should have oh, my very favorite. Look at these. These are called Stargazer. I mean, fantastic. Oh, love those. And then this is Peach Fuzz. I got these because they go with something, but I don't remember what, but Love that shine. All right, and then, for some reason, I didn't have this. You know, I have all the Elizabeth Craft uh, Planner Essential dies, but if I had this, I couldn't find it. So, um, anyway, I had to pick this up. Lots of fun. This one is, is Planter Fil Film Strip 1656. Love that. Cards, junk journals, scrapbook pages. And then I got another uh, Vintage Artistry Everywhere, um, the paper collection, 12 by 12. I'm doing lots with that. And then, what else do we have here? More stuff. I'm just going to dump this out. Okay. Um, so I think I hauled the other day the uh, new Magic Forest by Stamperia, which, you know, Stamperia is it. I just love it. So these are the um, ephemera pieces. And then... I don't know, I've been eyeballing this, eyeing this for a little while. This is Tim Holtz um, Wood Slice. So you get the heart and the circle, and then you get the full alphabet. So you can spell out whatever you want. Here's love you, you plus me. And I don't know if you can see the size. I mean, they're pretty good size. There's, you can see the circle, there's the heart. Anyway, we'll, we'll do something with this. But I just thought that was kind of cool, you know, any kind of woodsy. Um, I don't know, I just, one of those things I kind of kept going back to. So we'll see. This is some new punch outs. We just got it from Find It Trading. 
And if you don't know what these are, they're 3D pushouts. They are perforated, you see? So you just push them out. Okay, you actually have three sets. And then they're numbered, very small. So one, two, three, four. So you'll push this one out. Um, and then you'll push this one out and put pop dots behind it and line it up on top of this one. Push this one out, pop dots behind it, line it up on top of this one, and this one on top of this one. So you get this 3D effect. So the same thing here, you start with this one, then layer it, then layer Anyway, they're fantastic. And I just love these colors, love this. So I had to grab it because we're going to make a card with it. And, uh-oh, something's falling out there. So you know how I craft. <laughs> So I couldn't decide because we're going to, you know, layer up a card base because really you can do a few layers or one or two layers, pop one of these on, and you have got a beautiful card. So look at those colors. Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, love, love, love. And with these, you can put a card, card together in, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Just the hard part is trying to pick out the paper and, um, you know, you can cut ovals out, you can cut squares out, layer them up, whatever you want to do. Just a lot of fun. Easy, easy. And then I, I'm not going to go through every page. This is Simple Stories, uh, Simple Vintage Life in Bloom. And I just went through, I have the whole collection. I got all the, sh the shoot and match, which, you know, they're, they have the rub ones, the die cuts, the frames, the um, sticker, all kinds of stuff. So I have all that. But this collection actually is going to be going away. So I went ahead and picked up some more because there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be doing with this. So I just picked up pages, um, some more pages and more sticker sheets. I just saw I'd have it on hand because it's a phenomenal collection. I don't know why they're retiring it. You know, hopefully they'll bring some of this back because a lot of the companies are doing a one and done. You know, they want us to order everything we think we're going to need for the rest of our lives and then that's it. And, um, you know, I don't, if they want us to warehouse it, we can't warehouse it. That's what they're supposed to do. But uh, hopefully these companies will smarten back up and then, you know, if it's a good seller, keep selling it. I know some of the companies have CEOs that aren't crafters. <laughs> They were CEOs of um, car dealerships or CEOs of, you know, a financial company or something. And then they come into crafting and I don't know. I think that'll be a requirement. If you go into that line, you need to know something about the product and how and how us crafters work. So from what I hear, Lindy's used to be really, really popular. And then it kind of fell out a little bit and now it's it's coming back. So um, we were doing making takes and stuff at where we have retreats every weekend. We don't put them on. Um, other individuals do and then we do make and takes for them you know they get a discount you know different things drawings and all of that and um, so one of the make and takes we're using these lindy's um sprays and i haven't used these you know i'm a big um um this went blank uh, tattered angels tattered angels girl i love my tattered angels and you guys don't see me use them too often but um Anyway, so it has the mica, and they're shipped just like this. Love, love, love these. So with these Lindy's, they're shipped empty, except for, I mean, they have the mica. Oh, you can't see. But anyway, there's the mica in the bottom. And then they have instructions, and it says to use, add warm water to fill line, let set 10 minutes, shake before each use, and enjoy. Okay. Well, people go, okay, and they just add water, shake it up, and go. Well, I tell you, they mean it. So word to the wise Read these instructions, and if you use these, and do this correctly, use warm water, fill to the, oops, fill to the fill line, let it set, don't shake it, don't put, the, you know, fill it up, set it there, don't touch it for 10 minutes, then put the lid on it, shake it, and use it, and then shake it before, you know, each time. The one time, Shirley did not follow the instructions, just like it said, she put water in there, shook it up, and it, and it, and it um, clogged, I mean, I think she used it once or twice, and it clogged, all the other ones she's never had any problems with, so... I don't know what it is, why it is, but, um, you know, the chemists, the whoever, excuse me, invented this, said to do it this way, they mean it. So these are some of the colors I got. I just, of course, I love fall colors. I love the oranges and the golds, the browns, and, of course, I love the blue in there, but I just thought these were beautiful. So we're going to um, follow the instructions, and uh, we're going to play with these. So what else did I get? Oh, quickly, 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 I got in. I don't know if you've seen these. This is an auto ship. This is Crafter's Companion. Uh, template Library. This is blue. So what this is, um, these are templates. So for all kinds of shapes, I don't know if you can, if you can kind of see. Let me get a, do I have a colored piece of paper? Yep, right here. Let me put behind this so you can see this a little better. There you go. So you can see the shapes. 
So what you do is, this is card base, um, one sheet. So anyway, you basically trace them, cut them out. Some people think they're really cool. I mean, there's there's a ton in here. And that's for different, this is a trifold shutter card. This one's exploding a center card. Uh, this is a gatefold heart card. So anyway, there's a ton. And then here is a two-sided step rocker card. So anyway, it's pretty cool. Like I said, you you know, you trace it in pencil and then you cut it out. You can use your um, scan and cut. You can do it freehand. But anyway, there's a ton of these. And like I said, it's an auto ship. And in the very beginning, you got a really cool box kind of thing that all these fit into. And then this is the recipe cards. I'll open this quickly. So here's your recipe cards. So it's basically a your little book. Let me get that glare off there. So here's like camera shutter card. Um, of course I go backwards. I don't know why I'm always going backwards. Um, but here's a half star card. And then on the back it gives you instructions. So there's your draw through the templates, cut around the outer edge of the pieces, where to score, how to put together, and then there's your card. So anyway, it's kind of cool, you know. Anyway, I have several sets of these. I haven't broke them out yet, but uh, we will, because I like doing, you know, these different interactive cards. And sometimes it's, you know, you know, for a lot of us, it's hard to measure and figure and all of that. So um, anyway, I just got this in, and um, that's really cool. Anyway, very creative. So I got that in. All right, and then I will quickly show you. Oops. I finally got in Spellbinders, which they are being a little, a little quicker about shipping out. Not much, but a little. Uh, so this time for the hot foil, we got, um, what's the color? Heat activated blush their uh, their colors are blush and gold and silver and um, I don't know, I wish they would have a little a little more um, variety there so I'm gonna go through this quickly this is the embossing folder of the month um, seam, slim, se seamless floral background there we go there is a sample of it very pretty and then we have the 3d embossing folder and this is really cool 3d patchwork and so can you see the different different designs I mean that's just I think that's really cool to do a um, um, tag or something and you know use part of it I just I think it'd be really cool and then we have our large die of the month which is punch and pierce frame and sentiments so here's a sample of this different large statement piece so I think they're getting the punch and pierce um, because of the little where it punches <laughs> um, little design that just punches into the card there's you know it doesn't like really cut all the way through um but anyway that's kind of that's a neat deal this is for you what does it say for you thanks wishing hello best and then for you and then we have our stitch die of the month stitched fanfare so here's some samples of that And then we have our glimmer. Oh, don't, okay, there we go. Glimmer of the month and uh, glimmer leaf panel. So there's the leaves, and then you can, um, you know, make several of these, and then use the dies to cut out pieces in uh, 3D a little bit. Celebrate the little things. Have an. Does it say? No, it doesn't say. There's a sample though. Thank you. That doesn't come with a thank you. Oh, have an unbelievable day. That's cute. But anyway, that would be really pretty. Uh, and I'm thinking, why didn't they send us some green or something? I don't know. But we have that. Then this is really cool, I think. Friendship Garden. You're a wonderful friend. Thanks for just being you. Hello, you. Happy birthday to you. I just think that's beautiful. There's a better picture of it. I just, I like I like that style. And then we have the die that cuts all that out. And then we have small die of the month. This is punch and pierce borders. So you have a border there, and then you have this frame around, and then these pieces are interchangeable. So there's one, two, three, four, five dies there. 
And so you can do, so there's a sample there. And these are great for um, cards or scrapbooks or um, folios. And then we have the card kit. We'll just go through this quickly. And they change this up so they don't have it in the box and they don't have the uh, 12 by or 8.5 by 11 sheets anymore. Oh, come on. Okay. So we have some stickers here, some little chipboard. You deserve all the good things and tabs. Okay. And then they always. And pop dots and some little, little score tape there. And then some beautiful sequins. And there's no holes in these. I like that. And then we have, I'll peek at these a little bit. I'm making this here. So we have, there's a dress. We have a house. We have little birdies. Um, rainbow clouds. There's like a little summer picnic. Hearts. Stamp. Houses. I mean, there's enough to make a ton of cards. Tea kettle. Tea cup. Oh, those are cool. With the balloons. Little ladybugs all in there. There's the birdie. Little camera. This is water fountain. Fruit. Flowers. Little Polaroid looking pictures. It's a good day. You know, these would be good for, um, Oh, any cute for junk journaling, for um, memory keeping, the different albums people make, folios, trees, oranges. It's a flower. This is for sunshine, <laughs> strawberries. I mean, look, I mean, just tons. I didn't even empty them all out there. All right. And then we have, ooh, these are beautiful colors. I have card toppers here. Are different colors gorgeous and then we have envelopes and cards and then we have I'll save those for last so here's an inspiration sheet it gives you a list of everything that comes in the kit another inspiration so here's the alphabet so kind of a off-white and then gold stripes and then love these you just put them on I mean as a sentiment Quick, hooray, sweet, lovely, kind, beautiful, all my love, the best yet. Life is sweet, lucky to have you, wonderful, seek, sun, seek sunshine. <laughs> Say that three times. Very pretty. And then we have our, and these are, you know, thin, it's just layering white. So I'll fan a little bit of this out here so you can kind of see what we have. Oh, those are cute. Oh, let me go the other way. They're upside down. Kind of see how oh, that one's cute with the little sunshines. What is this one? Oh, with the little stamps. Oh, it has a little bit of gold foiling on there. So yeah, you can kind of see a little bit. Some of these do have gold foiling on there. The trees there. But anyway, very pretty. And then there's the the color bases. So anyway, very pretty. All right. Well, that was just a little haul, a little random haul. Um, again, I hope everybody's doing well. I think I'm finally getting rested up and I get this stuff put away and we'll start making some cards. <laughs> so until next time, bye for now.